All right, let's dive into this pepper grinder demo here. Just firing things up pretty much from scratch. I mean, this file will be from scratch, but I've played just like a tiny, tiny smidge of this. Uh, immediately was in love with it. Uh, I already knew I would be. I'd been following this game on, uh, you know, social media, whatever platforms I had seen it on. And uh, when I saw that Devolver was the publisher for it, I knew it was definitely going to get like that full-fledged level of love for the experience. So... I'm checking out this demo on Switch. They just uh, kind of announced it during the most recent Nintendo Direct, and then they, uh, um, I think it's out in about a month from now at the time of, you know, <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll dive into this. It's a nice short and sweet cutscene from what I recall. So I think it pretty much just kind of fades out here. Or maybe I just run to the right here. Maybe there's a tiny bit more. Yeah, there's a little bit more, actually. I think I fall down this cavern here or something. Um, and then the game gets going, so I've just, I'm loving the setting, I love the pixel art. Um, yeah, that opening uh, is super, like, uh, <laughs> heavy metal, and now it's, like, kind of chill, but got a little bit of, like, a drill dozer vibe. Um, if anyone's ever played that Game Boy Advance uh, game from Nintendo. Um, let's see, can I jump through the platforms? I forget, yep. Um, oh, got some hidden gems over here. This game kind of has almost, I mean, the pixel art's way more detailed, but it kind of almost has a Game Boy Advance kind of flavor to it. Um, but yeah, this is like the main mechanic that I had seen where I was immediately like, okay, I'm going to love any game that lets me just dive into the ground and then um, launch myself out. And they haven't taught me the mechanic yet, but since I've already played just a chunk of this, I guess I got to like the first like collectible. You can press B to do like a dash. As long as your drill thing isn't like overheated. Can, let's see, can I jump on this? Uh, I mean, I can bounce on it, but it doesn't really give me any extra height. I was thinking if I press jump as I landed on it, it would give me a little extra spring, but I think it's just more uh, of a shield for that enemy. Like I gotta kill it through the uh, dirt here. But yeah, I got like this collectible here and didn't get too much further than this. Actually, I guess I played like another little chunk here, but yeah, the, it's just so smooth and so fluid. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally hidden gems. <laughs> I love it. Um, start throwing some tougher enemies at you. Okay, yeah, here's where they teach you, and they kind of throw this, like, blue... They do a really good job of kind of, like, pathing you um, through the stage where you need to go. Um, so, yeah, I've just gotten a little bit further than this, and no idea how long the demo is, but probably gonna play all the way through it unless it's some some of the times uh these days i feel like demos are like insanely long so we'll see i don't want to spoil too much like when it's a game i know i'm looking forward to and planning on picking up Ooh, very oh shit i was gonna say very uh forgiving checkpoint system although uh i'm losing health when that happens so we'll see uh yeah checkpoint i think this is a checkpoint so i don't get any health back shit what an idiot land right on the freaking narwhal spike there we go. But yeah, like, here there's, like, no blue, so you kind of know you can... I guess you can do it regardless, but you know you can uh, make it up that jump without uh, using your dash. And then there, there is the blue, so you know you kind of need it there. You know you need it. No, I didn't use it. Use it on the wrong one. This almost looks like some crumbly... No, that's just the way the wall looks. There we go. But yeah, you gotta watch that drill overheating meter. Which seems like it won't go over all the way unless you use that dash. Yeah, this is pretty much where I got to here. I love how peaceful this is. Yeah, after that, like, opening, like, slashing metal. Oh. And a little giant lurking in the background. Yeah, I found this little cannon back here. And this... Oh! I thought I had to charge it up longer last time I held it down, like, waiting for something to happen. And um, But yeah, this is literally the last point I played. So everything from here on in will be brand new to me. So, let's see. Oh, that seemed like a checkpoint. For a second, I thought that was like an icon for me to grab. Whoa. Why did I launch out of there so fast? Is that just like a glitch? I think it was. Because I didn't use my dash even there. I love this peaceful music shit. Oh, I'm down to my last health. I guess we'll probably end up finding out what happens if you die. I'm like weirdly committed to every gem, even though, again, I'm... Wait, can I just jump over here? I was thinking that was a wall, but... Oh, you gotta get risky on that one. Ooh, yeah. 
All right, just plow through them. Yeah, that giant was so cool. I really love the pixel art. Uh, like how there's like no outlines on anything. I think that I think I'm describing that correctly. Like there's no like black outline or white outline. It's just like the characters and the just the way the pixels like kind of flow together and the color scheme is really great. Oh, I thought that was locked. Can I just go through here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, I just got to bust it up and get the key. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got some health back, too. I don't know when that happened. Oh, maybe the, maybe the red, no, not the red gems, but I think I've seen some of these, like, red flying things. Okay, so here, I like the camera, too. Yeah, I had a feeling there was a secret. Oh, I missed two of them. Wow. I feel like I was scouring the level pretty good. Not good enough, and definitely a, like the type of level that's fun that I would like to replay. Oh, a cool way to end the stage, too. That's cool. Oh, man, this game is so sweet. Oh, yeah, and I did back out of the stage, and I remember seeing this world map. This world map is awesome. I love a world map. Oh, and the giant's even on there. Oh, man. This is freaking sweet. All right, let's keep rolling along. Oh, water. Oop, got another little secret over here, maybe. Oop. God, I love this music. Okay, doesn't quite work as fast as drilling through, like, the ground, but... Or am I supposed to just, like, nope. I can just run otherwise. Yeah, you gotta use the drill to swim. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oof. My platforming skills are a little bit rusty. Oh, there we go. Don't mind if I do. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, let's get these. Oh, idiot. Nope. Checkpoint. Oh shit, oh man. I kinda forgot I could land, <laughs> land in the water for a second. Okay, so I gotta wrap around to get to that thing. Let's see. Some goodies. Okay, it seems like the gems, too, just other than the ones that are, like, kind of in the... There's there's where I drill down, I think, right here. Yes. Oh, I thought it was going to lead me down to that. Uh, oh, can I skip across the water? Is that what was just happening there? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. Okay, so how do I get to that other area down there. Am I just leaving it in the dust? I guess I am. Especially since this is the demo. That's super polished. Oh, man. Okay. Shoot. Nope. Oh. No. Dang it. Oh, got a good checkpoint at least. Actually, yeah, pretty much right before that. I guess not right before. checkpoint all right oh damn oh oh the checkpoint maybe gives you one health back 
Because I only had one hit point before. Oh, I can't dash there. Oh. Kind of lo <laughs> lucked out with that overshot there. Oh. And he goes so much slower than the Oh, that's the second to last one. Yeah, I missed a ton. Shit. Those enemies are tough. These, like, narwhal things. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Guess it doesn't really matter that much at this point, but... Gotta get the goodies when you see them. Hey, take, a le take it easy, turd. Have a good rest of the evening. Thanks for hanging. And yeah, yet another hidden gem. Jam-packed with hidden gems within. Dang, missed that one. Oh, nice. Right to the end of the stage. Oh, but missed another uh, medal, too. Dang. Nice. Yeah, these stages are solid. So this is locked, it looks like. Then 1-3. So what's that? Shop. This almost has like a little bit of a... Uh, not anymore, but it had a little bit of like a Donkey Kong Country vibe. This is 200. This is, oh wait, what's this? Sticker page. Uh, sure, just to see what it is. What we got here? Sticker, and then what's this? Another sticker. Oh, a health upgrade? Hmm. That'll be enough. I was thinking I could buy something to unlock whatever that is there, but I guess we'll find out. Or maybe it is just something that's locked for the demo. Oh, nice. Get a little puzzly. so used to like doing the dash a bunch of times in a row when you need to and then you gotta kind of really remember to not use it when you don't need to I keep thinking I'm just going to start kind of drilling right into the ground, but if, you, if it's like kind of at the maximum height of your jump, you really gotta... Oh! But it is pretty nice how it like... Oh, shoot. Hmm. Oh, I want to go over here. There we go. There we go. Oh, just checkpoint. I was thinking that was going to be like a little shop in there, but... Yeah, I like how there's not really, like, I guess there's sort of combat, but, like, not really. It's more just, like, I don't know how to put it. It's almost got, like, a pinball kind of flavor to it. Oh, nice. I guess there's really no way to know that was there other than the coin. Oh, oh dang it. A little getting over it action. Oh. Okay. Just pump the brakes for a sec. Oh, shit. Well, maybe those pots have health in them? Shit. There we go. 
actually lost track of my character there for a sec. Wow, oh, idiot. That was kind of cool. I got a nice little bounce off that. Taking, <laughs> taking damage there, though. There we go. Oh, shit. So not those. Those pots don't have health in them, but... Oh, nice. Oh. Boom. These elevators are cool. Oh. And they're nice and quick, too. You don't have to, like, wait too long for them. Okay. One chunk seemed almost like a little tougher to go through or something. Boom. Hmm. What do I need to do here? I'll let the gem go. Again, just the demo. Just the demo. Hmm. Oh, I want to launch that thing. Okay. There we go. I like how I like how there's some nice oh a little parachute. That's cool. I like how there's some nice light uh, puzzle solving in here. Maybe maybe even it'll get heavier puzzle solving later in the game. Oh, but it's already getting relatively tricky, which is cool. Oh, shit. Oh, guess I can just proceed at that point. Oh, no. Those are just skulls. Oh, damn it. How oh, do they taunt you with that gem right in your face? Oh, maybe that's health. That radish thing? Just that gulping sound kind of made me think it was some health. Shit. Oh. Couldn't tell if that one skull coin down there was one that I grabbed already. I don't think so. Or if it was just blue because I saw what do we got here. We got like a boss chase. Ooh. Got another skull coin. I don't know why I said another boss. Like I fought one, but I thought it was going to be like a chase sequence. Nice. Nice, perfect time. I was just gonna say, I don't know if I want to play any more of this now that I know I'm for sure gonna get this game. Um, oh man, what a great demo! What a great game! I'm definitely pumped for this beyond belief. I knew it was gonna be good stuff, even from just seeing it in action initially. But then knowing Devolver was gonna be publishing it. Not that I love every single thing that they publish, but um, when it's one that I know I'm gonna like, like I, I just yeah, I'm really pumped to play the rest of this game and pick this up. What an awesome demo!